Hey, welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel, everybody. It's Friday, so I am going to go ahead and wrap up the week and uh, the beginning of the weekend with a what's sold on eBay video. I'll go all the way back to probably last Saturday, which would have been the 24th through now, which is the 30th. We'll look at some of my good sales, some of the bad sales, uh, and everything in between. So I'm going to jump over to my screen. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'll just screen share my eBay and show you some of the items. I'll show you what they actually sold for, and I'll let you know if I can remember, which I usually do, what I paid for those items and what the actual profit on them was. So let's go over to my screen and check. Okay, so here's my screen. Here's my eBay uh, store, which I have linked down below if you wanna buy anything, if you wanna take a look at it. Also, if you're gonna plan on shopping on eBay anyways, if you could please go to eBay using that link, and then you can go about your shopping, whether it's with me or someone else. It does help my channel. It's an affiliate link, so anytime you go on there, uh, within 24 hours, if you buy anything, I will get credit. So I really appreciate anyone who can do that. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just click the link down there where it says my eBay store, and then go about your normal eBay searching and shopping. Let's jump into the first item. It's a Pebble Beach uh, short sleeve PGA golf polo shirt for men. Um, this one was half off at $13. I believe this came out of the Goodwill outlet, uh, which means it would have been about a buck to a buck and a half cost, sale price 13, um, which would have left us 12, 11 50 in profit, less the fees and shipping, about seven bucks in profit. The next one is a Popeye shirt, uh, pretty cool. Uh, sold it $14.95, probably could have got more for it, but uh, 15 after fees and shipping. Left with about nine to 10 bucks, so this one's probably like a $78 profit as well. Uh, guest jean shirt, this would have been on sale for $13.50. We took a best offer of 12. Um, this came out of Goodwill Outlets as well, about a dollar in cost, it was lightweight, um, which is 11 profit, less fees and shipping, about six to seven dollars. A motocross O'Neill black and white shirt. This one sold for $22. Uh, very good motocross shirts. They do well. Um, this came out of Salvation Army on half off day. I paid $2 for it. It was four originally. Um, so that's a $20 profit, less the fees and shipping. This one did slip in at 15 ounces at first class. So it was about four bucks. Plus the fees that were about $4 total. So eight off of the 20 profit leaves us with $12. All right. Let's go to the next. Miss Me Jeans. Uh, you guys saw me just get these just the other day out of the outlets. Now, they did weigh about two pounds, which puts them at $3 cost. Um, we were able to sell them. Uh, they were $25. We took a best offer for $23. So the $23 minus my three cost is $20. Uh, they did cost $6.30 to ship padded. And then the fees, so they were about $10 in fees. Left me about 10 profit on these. Miley Cyrus sold this shirt at $9.99. Pretty much any time I get a Miley Cyrus, I can just pop it up for $10 bucks and sell it. It came out of the outlet for about $0.75. Cents. So that's a $9.25 profit. Less the shipping is $6.48. Less the fees is about $5 in profit. But I only paid $0.75 cents for it. It's Lion King game, $11. Uh, cost on this was $1. So 10 profit, less fees and shipping, about 6 bucks. Vince Camuto, the large tiger print. Uh, this came out of Salvation Army, and I believe this was $2 or $2.50. It sold for $19.50. Um, so that's 17 profit, less the fees. It was a little heavy. Um, so the 17 less the $3.46 shipping and the fees about $2. So about a little bit over $10, maybe $11 in profit. Vince Camuto, this tiger print, pretty ugly, but ugly sells. American Eagle women's uh, jean shorts, uh, sold them for 12, they were half off. These came out of the outlet for like 75 cents. Um, so 12 less the 75 leaves me 11.25 in profit, less the shipping, less the fees, about six bucks in profit. Next was a polka dot corset uh, lingerie piece, bought it from Salvation Army for a dollar on half off day, sold it for 12, 11 in profit, less fees and shipping, about seven bucks. Tommy Bahama was 40. It was on sale for 20, and I took a best offer of 18. Uh, I did pay $5 for this shirt, so there was only 13 profit minus the um, shipping, minus the fees. Only left me about $6.50 to $7 in profit on this one. Still profitable, and it still sold fairly quick. I've had this about a week, week and a half. Abercrombie shirt was half off for 11, and it sold. Uh, got it out of the Salvation Army for a dollar. So 10 profit, less fees and shipping, left about a total of six profit. 
Another piece of motocross uh, gear here, half off for 22 and it's sold. Bought these from, again, the Salvation Army. I think I paid 250 for these or two. It was just in the haul video the other day. Um, anyways, that left a $20 profit, less fees and shipping. These did have to go padded. So somewhere around $11 in total profit. The Jeep Cherokee manual, I showed this on Instagram, but it was on sale for 20. It's sold. We've had it for a little while. So probably six months worth of 10 cent listings with 60 cents. Um, and then the eBay fees and the PayPal fees, probably about $3. So 360 off of tw uh, 20 leaves you about you know $16 net. And then the shipping, it went media mail. So is about uh, 277, I believe, or 266. So somewhere around $13 in total. Uh, in pocket money and I bought this at the bins at our 50 cents per book pound and this book was about uh, 40 cents cost so these repair manuals do pretty good ah there's the vintage dress it finally did sell we had it up for a hundred we put it on sale for 50 at our half off sale and uh, I believe the best offer we took on this was 30 or 35 I think it was 30 um, it was heavy but it did go padded flat it did fit it was folded up nicely um, so the $30, uh, less the 630, less the fees, probably around four bucks, put about 19 in our pocket and, uh, we didn't pay anything for this one. Trump tie 30 bucks, put it on sale for 15, got this out of the bins for about 10 cents. This wasn't a very popular one, but it did. Okay. BCBG Max's area. Uh, I always do good with these. We put it on sale for 18 and it sold right away out of the bins for about a buck in cost. So 17 profit, less fees, less shipping, about $12 in total profit. And then the last one I'm gonna show you, this was a Salvation Army pickup for about a buck and a half. It's Vineyard Vines. We put it sale for 24, it sold immediately. I probably could have got 29 out of it, but uh, $2 cost, so it was 22 profit, less the shipping of 277 and less the fees, left us about 16 profit on a $2 purchase. So. That's the last one, Women's Vineyard Vines, a brand you always want to look for. So some very good uh, profits, a few that didn't do so well, but for overall, it wasn't bad. Decent week, even though sales are down. Hopefully July, which starts tomorrow, is better for everyone. I'll keep my fingers crossed for everyone. I appreciate everyone watching this video. If you didn't see the last video I just posted up about our YouTubers, uh, please check that out. I'll link it below, of course. And if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, put them down there. Below the video comment section is all for you guys. I'll respond to as many as I can. Social media down in the description box and any and all links, once again, you can find down there as well. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you next time.